The year is 1940, Honolulu. Company started. Standard games. Service games. Sega Enterprises? Sega moved to Japan and makes a submarine game so good you get pink eye. Sega was so good at giving people pink eye, they made more arcade games. And they're good, I guess. Nintendo enters and Sega doesn't like them already somehow. It makes the SG-1000. And it did so extreme. Then they tried again. It made the master system that flopped literally everywhere but Brazil. And then Sega realizes to stay around, they actually need to make a good console this time. So they make the Mega Drive. Atari renamed the Mega Drive to the Genesis, and Sega gave Atari exactly zero credit for this move. And in 1991, Sega's like, man, we fucking suck. How do we not suck? And Naoto Oshima and Yuji Naka respond in unison. Blue, blue rat. rat. And that little blue fuck started the massive console wars, letting Sega have its first and only victory that only lasted four years. Sega started making handhelds, and it was okay, I guess. I don't know what you want me to say. Sega was so ahead of the curve that they beat the PC Engine to disc-based gameplay by negative three years with the Sega CD. And this drive to improve would have Sega release their greatest and most popular consoles ever, the Sega 32X, the Saturn, Dreamcast, Sega proceeded to kill their own company and have been banished to the world of third-party development. They tried to save themselves by being Microsoft's bitch and going through no man's land with all their franchises dying off until 2020 when Sega remembered quality control. We, we love, love you, Sega. Sega.